to see something strange. Come with us and you will see. This our town of Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Pumpkin street in the middle of night. This is Halloween. Everybody make a scene. Trick or treat. Tell the neighbors gonna die. Boo! Did I scare you guys? Anyways, aloha! It's me, Ninia. Welcome back to another episode of American Girl Doll Cooking Show. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for new recipes. Today, I'm going to be doing scary and spooky Halloween treats. I'm so excited. The first treat I'm going to be making is some deliciously spooky witch hats. Don't worry, these are edible. What you'll need is some Hershey Kisses, a few Oreos that I need to split in half, Wait one second. There we go. You want to only use the half with no cream and save the half with cream for later. And finally, some red piping gel, but you can use whatever color you want. So the first step is already done because you have to split the Oreos in half and use the blank side with no cream and place one with the flat side down onto the plate. Next, you want to take your red piping gel and add a generous amount into the middle of the cookie. Then you want to unwrap one of your Hershey Kisses and place it in the center of your gel and press down so that there's a nice rim of gel around it. And ta-da! You have a delicious witch hat. Now I'm going to make a few more and show you guys what the finished product looks like. Hocus pocus ba-boom! This is what the finished product looks like. These will be perfect for a fun Halloween party. So now on to the next sweep. Go hats! Shoo! Shoo! Now, I'm going to be making some spooky eyes. These will definitely be the eye catches at a Halloween party. See what I did there? Remember the half of Oreos with cream on them? Well, this is what you need them for. Take those and place them on a plate. Take Lifesavers gummies. You can use whatever color you want, but today I'm going to be using red and green. Stick those in the middle of the cream in the Oreos. Use the red gel frosting from before to add eyeballs in the middle of the Lifesaver. Then add some eyeball hard candies to make it look like a real eye, or you can even use M&Ms if you can't find the hard candies. Finally, take the red piping gel to make veins around the eyes. Now I'm going to make some more and show you guys what the finished product looks like. This is what the finished product looks like. They look so spooky and delicious. Now I'm going to make some spooky bats, but they're so adorable too. What you'll need is some full Oreos, which will be the body of the bat. You want to place them on a plate. Then you need some black piping gel to add two dots where you want the wings to go. After you want to use another half of an Oreo with no cream and just cut it right down the middle to form wings and stick those where the piping gel is and press down but not too hard because you don't want to break the Oreos. Then add two more dots where the black gel and add some hard candy eyes. Now I'm going to be making some more and showing you guys what they look like. So, this is what the finished product looks like. I told you guys they were adorable. Go bats! Fly, fly away! But not too far! Now, I'm going to be making some spiders. Ooh, spooky, right? What you'll need is the Oreos that we split in half in the beginning and add one with cream on your plate. Next, take some red licorice and untwist it. Then place four strands into the cream to make the legs for the spider. Then add two dots where you want to put the eyes for the spider. Then use eyeballs hard candy and stick them on. You could even use M&Ms if you can't find the eyes. But if you use M&Ms, you want to go back with the black gel and add on little dots to look like the pupils. Now I'm going to make some more and show you guys what the finished product looks like. Ta-da! This is what the finished product looks like. They look so delicious. The last and final treat is my favorite because we're going to be making Frankenstein pudding. What you will need to make Frankenstein pudding is a cup that I decorated with a Sharpie with Frankenstein face, which I'll put everything in, a spoon, vanilla pudding that I'm going to use green gel color to color green, then put it into the cup. Finally, on top, add some finely crushed Oreos to look like his hair. Now, I'm going to make some more and show you guys what the finished product looks like. Voila! This is the finished product and they look so good. This is everything that we made today and this will be perfect for a Halloween party with my sisters. I would like to hear from you guys if you made any of these and how you like it. I want you guys to comment down below what are you going to be for Halloween. As you can see, I'm going to be a skeleton. 
Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Have a happy and safe Halloween, my little chefs. Aloha!